Okay, today, my friends, I woke up. I don't know if it was the middle of the night. I don't know if I woke up in the morning, but I woke up and I had this thought in my head. Page 100. Page 100. You've got to get up. You've got to read page 100. You ever you ever have those things? I get those things sometimes where just something inside my gut, my intuition, I don't know, says, you must do this, Lynn. And I don't necessarily know why, but I just go with it anyway. And I know it's weird. I know it's a little woo-woo. Um, but it seems like every time I do this, somebody comes to me and says, yeah, that was me. Or yeah, I really needed that. So so that's what this podcast is today. We're taking a quick break from the More Energy um, series. If you haven't seen the More Energy series yet, go back in the last couple of weeks of my podcast and you'll see a bunch of them titled More Energy colon and then a tip. And there's a whole bunch of ways to get more energy. But this one, this one, we're just going to, you know, pull the record um, off aside for a little bit and um, look at page 100 because that's that's what I woke up with laying in bed something inside me said, you must read page 100. And page 100 is in my, the print version of my book, Couch to Active, your, um, the missing link that takes you from sedentary to active, couch to active. When we uh, put together the print version of this book, and we, we don't have a Kindle and audio version yet, we're going to get there. I'm going to get there. Uh, but when we put it together, it just serendipitously happened to be that page 100 of the book was a list of body positive amf- affirmations. And so so I have this uh, uh, chapter in the book. Um, this book has about 40 little chapters. <laughs> I say about 40 little chapters. I really should know by now exactly how many chapters are in this book. I wrote it. Gosh darn it. Um, but Uh, A whole bunch of little chapters to help you get your health and fitness going. And one of them uh, is titled, one of the chapters is titled Jiggle. That's right, Jiggle. And it's really the, a quick little look at that concept of body positivity, that concept of struggling with feeling like we don't like where our body is at and having that become a limiting factor in how we live a life we love. And so so you'll you need to get the book and read the chapter, but the the basic gist of it is that when it comes to body positivity, we are still hit with so many marketing messages and media messages. And this this is where I actually envy uh, our clients who are blind in a small degree because they are not hit with the, you know, plethora of hundreds of photos of perfectly airbrushed fake bodies online all the time. And I I do wonder like if that just makes, um, makes the whole body image thing not quite so intense. You know, I've actually never asked, um, okay, you guys, I know you listen to this. Now I'm just digging myself in a hole here. <laughs> so if you have any opinion on the topic, uh, maybe in another class, talk to me and let me know because I'm st- I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Uh, but anyhow, uh, the, the, the gist of it, what I say is I, I'm a big fan of being in control of what we can control and letting go of what we can't control. And so when it comes to body positivity, this is a huge thing that there are literally people spend weeks, months, years in therapy working on this. It's, it's, if you're not aware of this topic, it's, it's really huge, big thing. And so when I touch on it, that topic, because it's just, it's just too big, you have to touch it at some point. My philosophy that's worked really well for me when it comes to the concept of body image and body positivity is simply one sentence. And that's this, I will not let a body image issue keeping me, keep me from living a life I love. Let me say that again. I will not allow a body image issue to keep me from living a life I love. So basically that puts it where I can control it. So if I have, okay, it's winter, so this makes no sense unless you live in Arizona. But if I get invited to, you know, a pool party and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to wear a swimsuit around people. Or if I get invited to an event where you're supposed to dress up and it's like, oh crap, you know, none of my dresses fit anymore. And it's COVID and it's hard to shop. And 
I look at, so basically I say, you know what? I got to let that go. I got to let that crap go. And I got to still say, is this event something I want to do? Is this gathering something I want to do? And is it part of living a life I love? And if it is, then yes, gosh darn it, I go and I don't give a crap about exactly what I'm wearing or what I think somebody else might think or say, because we know all that crud is just that negative, bad monster that comes into our own little brain and wants to be like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not even going to say what that monster says. I'm just going to say, blah, 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 right? <laughs> is that a good monster voice? Blah, 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 blah. It sounds like a turkey. Oh my. Okay. But now I totally lost my train of thought. Okay. So yeah. So essentially I put it in my control and I say, you know what? I'm going to go anyway. And I may not be able to control exactly how I feel. I may not be able to say like, oh, you know, I feel so awesome. Like for example, a couple of years ago, pre-COVID, um, I had screwed up my foot and so I couldn't wear heels and I was in the middle of my chronic illness and in the middle of my weight gain that I had. And my husband and I had a vent to go to in Southern California, LA. And it was one of those events, like you could almost imagine like watching a movie where there's, you know, all the beautiful women in their four inch stilettos and they're all like way too skinny and all that. And I was like, ah, crud, you know, here I am, just not, I just feeling frumpy, just feeling like, wow, I've been through a lot. They don't know me. They don't know what I've been through. They don't know my story. And I was like, you know what? I will not let a body image issue keep me from doing what I love. So I was like, screw it. I got a fun dress that I wore. I wore a pair of red leather boots, flat red leather boots to this formal event. (laughs) <laughs> and a fun dress with, I, I don't even know how to describe it, had palm trees and camels on it or something. And I looked completely different from all the other women who were wearing their teeny tiny little black dresses, you know, low cut down to their belly button. And, and I thought, you know what, I'm just walking in with confidence. I'm me. I'm a cool person. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good. And the amazing thing is when I got there, people were more interested in me and gathered around me more than ever before and were more open to me than ever before. And so I was like, okay, what's going on here? Is it because I wasn't wearing my heels and I was more approachable? I also had short pixie blonde hair then too. So I had like this short pixie bedhead. I don't know, who knows? Or was it that I had done that mental work to just have more confidence in myself and be more confident? Now nah, it's probably a combination of it all. So anyhow, wow, this is interesting. I'm eight minutes in and I haven't even gotten to what we were going to say. Page 100 of the book. Page 100 of the book has a list of body positive affirmations. And so what I want you to do is to just kind of now that I, you know, got your head in this whole weird, crazy space is there's, there's a lot of them. There's oh my gosh, maybe 25 little body positive affirmations. I'm going to read that page from the book. And as I read it, I want you to think which one, which one resonates with you the most? Which one speaks to you today? And some of us, we've heard this page before, but, um, Gosh darn it, I wrote it. <laughs> I gotta I gotta reread it again here. So listen to this. I'm just gonna read through, pick out which one is the most impactful for you today. Here we go. Body positive affirmations, page 100 of the Couch to Active book. Alrighty. My body loves me, and I will love it back. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am enough. I do not value my body over my being. My goal is to fall in love with everything I am. My body, my shape, my rules. This is what progress looks like. Being sexy is all about attitude, not body type. 
Life is way too short to spend another day at war with myself. I'm not going to sacrifice my mental health to have the perfect body. I'm obsessed with becoming a person comfortable in my own skin. I said to my body, I want to be your friend. It took a long breath and replied, I've been waiting my whole life to hear this. I exercise because I love my body, not because I hate it. My body is not an ornament. It's a vehicle to my dreams. My body is a gift and I embrace my body with love and respect. It's time for me to unlearn everything society has taught me about hating my body. My self-worth is not determined by a number on the scale. My imperfections make me beautiful. When I fuel my body with love, my mind has no limits. I am not a mistake or a problem to be solved. I am limitless. I love and accept all parts of myself. I am grateful for my body and I don't compare myself to others. I'm putting my life in order and preparing to accept all the good that is coming to me. I do not have to like everything about myself in order to love myself. I am attracting powerful, positive, and healthy people into my life. I am proud of how far I have come and have faith in how far I will go. I would love to hear from you. If one of these resonates with you and you have a story for me, send it over to me at beawesome at couchtoactive.com. That's B-E-A-W-E-S-O-M-E at couchtoactive.com. Tell me your story and uh, maybe I'll read it here on a future episode. Alrighty, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now. 